morning guys, this is Brett Sandy of Work Nation Baseball, okay? In this video right here, I'm going to teach you guys on how to turn a double play from second base, okay? And again, these are pretty basic, fellas. These are pretty freaking basic, all right? So the first thing you got to remember, guys, is uh, this is the first one you, I'll show you right here, okay? You want to have the left foot on the bag, the right foot back a little bit, okay? We always got to make sure to have our hands up. Our hands got to be up because you're going to get the ball out of the glove anyways and you're going to have to throw it from your hand, okay? Why have your hand down here? Why not have it here so it's boom, right here. Baseball is a game of inches, okay? We got to gotta fight for all those inches, okay? If you catch it here, the hand's down here, it's going to take time to bring your hand up from here and grab the ball out, okay? We got to remember to have our hands right here. Got to have your hands right here, okay? So this is the first one, how to turn double play right here. You have your left foot on the bag, right foot back a little bit, both hands up. Once you catch it, you're stepping out with that left foot and you're staying square and you're getting rid of it, okay? Even though we're stepping out with the left foot, I don't want to see your, your, your arm go down here because that ball's going to tail, okay? We're here, we're stepping out, and boom, and we're staying on top, okay? It's all quick hands. Quick hands, and we're boom, just like that. Left foot on, catch the ball, boom, okay? We also gotta remember that there's a runner here as well. So if you have to dodge the runner a little bit, then we're stepping over him, okay? Because that is gonna happen. There's gonna be a runner sliding right here trying to break up double play. So you gotta have that left foot on the bag, both hands up, catch the ball, step off, boom, watch the runner, boom, okay? Also too, as you're getting older and getting more experienced and you're trying to add more things into your game, it is much easier to not close your glove. Try not to close your glove when we're turning double plays. Practice it when you're playing catch so you can have a better transfer. Because you close it, then it's going to be tougher to get it out. Try to catch it in your palm. Catch it in the palm. Try not to close the glove. Have the rhythm going with it. The rhythm going with it. Catch it in the palm. Don't close your glove, okay? You're gonna have an extreme fast transfer if you're not closing your glove. Keep it in the palm and go with the rhythm with it. The rhythm with it, okay? Yes, sometimes you might drop it, okay? But that's what practice is for, okay? Practice it like crazy a hundred times on the transfer. That way in the game, when it does happen, boom, it's like nothing. It's light work, it's easy, okay? Try, work on that, especially if you're trying to advance your game into the next level. Don't close your glove. Have your glove open, catch it in the palm, boom. Okay? Another way to turn to a play is coming through it, boom. We're coming across it and we're coming this way, okay? That, this usually happens when you're late. Say you might be a little late or something, turn to a play, you're coming here, you're making sure it's on there, boom, and we're coming right through it, okay? You gotta remember to, ha to catch the ball and still have the foot on the bag, and then we're coming off boom and we're here. We gotta make sure that we don't throw from down here, guys. A lot of infielders like to do that because they see the big leaguers do it. They see the big leaguers do it and they throw the ball like this, okay? And the ball tails like that. Again, they're making millions of dollars. They practice that like crazy. They can do that, okay? Nobody's saying they gotta bring it all the way back here, but I am saying you gotta stay on top. We gotta be here. If you don't want to. Yes, as an infielder and as a shortstop, we don't want you bringing your arm all the way back, okay? Because again, baseball is a game of inches. This will waste time instead of right here, boom. But we're staying on top. We're not down here with it. Don't get down here with it and be short. Get up here with it and be short. So we're here, boom, boom. Okay, create that strong arm by playing some good long toss. Okay, so again, the first one, the first one you can do is have the left foot on the back, catch it right here, both hands up, catch it, Pull it back, boom, wash the runner, boom, we got him, okay? The second one is when we're kind of late. We're kind of late, we catch it, boom, we're coming through it, and we're boom, just right there. Remember, have both hands up. Both hands have got to be up. And if you want to advance your level a little bit in the middle infield, stop closing your glove. Get it in the palm and use the rhythm with it. The rhythm with it, okay? Stop closing your glove if you want to advance your game, okay? Um, yeah, so that's right there are a few steps on how to turn a double play from second base. Okay, I hope you guys gained a lot from this video. 
I myself are, are doing more research on to get more knowledge on the game because you you can always learn so much more. Even the greats are always learning. The greats in all sports stay learning to this day. If you think that you don't need to learn anymore, then you have a rude awakening for you. Okay? So again, I love you guys. So hit that subscribe button. This is Work Nation Baseball. Follow our Instagram page at Work Nation underscore organization. We have a Facebook page called uh, Work Nation Club Baseball. Okay, I hope you guys like it. Um, you guys have a great day.